everyone and welcome to integration ninjas in this tutorial we are going to talk about github depender board which is a powerful tool designed to simplify and automate the process of keeping your projects dependencies up to date in the fast paced world of software development staying on top of library updates and security patches is crucial depender board to streamline this task by automatically creating pull requests for your projects dependencies whenever new versions are available in this tutorial we will guide you through the essential steps to integrate Dependabot into your GitHub repository, ensuring that your project benefits from the latest features, bugs, fixes, and security enhancements without the hassle of manual intervention. So, GitHub will always send these Dependabot alerts when they find the, that your project is having some vulnerability, dependency, or malware. And this is available for all the repositories for free on github.com and but uh, some advanced features are like available on the paid like github enterprise cloud and github enterprise servers okay so let's see like how we can enable this depender board in our project so for that we need to go to the settings and uh, this is a java project spring boot project so we will be having the vulnerabilities for this project I have added some vulnerabilities here in this project now see if github depender board catches this or not let's go to the code security and analysis tab and now we have this dependencies graph so this is already enabled for all the public repos so now we are going to enable the depender board alerts receive alerts for vulnerability that affect your dependencies and manually generate depender board pull request so by enable this we can like uh, get the alerts for the vulnerabilities so let's enable this okay we have enabled this now we can see there are two security issues in our project so there are two dependent boards that has been came like apache commons compressed denial of service compatibility and domain restrictions okay so now let's see what is this error like uh, commons compressed denial of service vulnerability so they are telling that uh, what are the versions we have in our project let's see which version we are using here in pom.xml for apache commons we are using 1.22 okay so here it is clearly mentioned that upgrade to version 1.2.1.24.0 or later so there are the vulnerabilities like uh, improper input validation and controlled resource consumption like uh, available from before the versions from the 1.24.0 so this needs to be fixed and the security level is moderate the 5.5 so this needs to be handled here and we have another vulnerability we, which we can see like which is for wiremock dependencies we can see which we have wiremock version as 2.35.0 so this also needs to be handled with the latest version 2.35.1 okay so let's see like how we can like we got the security of this we got to know like what are the issues now we can like create the pull request uh, manually with these things or we can enable the depender board also we can create automatic pull request also now we can see like depend about security updates enable this option will result in depend about automatically attempting to open pull request to resolve every open depend about alert within the available patch so i am like i would like to enable this and we'll see if it is working and this will enable this and after that we will also update like allow dependable to open pull request automatically keep your dependencies up to date whenever new version are available so i would like to configure this as well so right now we have our two security issues here and we got the pull request are getting generated for this we can see a pull request has been already generated for this issue so we see here like uh, 1.24.0 we will having the version 1.22 and the version is updated with 1.24.0 so this depend about alerts are working properly and for wiremock also this dependencies has been updated with 2.35.1 so this works properly now we can what we can do is we can just uh, customize this like when we want to schedule this so 
we can like enable like whenever to open pull request to keep your like dependencies up to date whenever new versions are available so suppose like you are working on version 2.35.0 and new version came so you want to create a pull request so that also we can enable here so this is one thing here now we can see like uh, this is a dependent.yaml file which needs to be enabled in the uh, .github folder so now here we came we need to like maintain this format okay so we will see like what updates will so package ecosystem we want to see what it is okay not here so we are going to see what is ecosystem okay we will just to go to this documentation once So we have ecosystems like uh, what available ecosystems are available here. So these are the like uh, for Gradle we have used Gradle, Maven we have to use Maven package for NPM we have to use uh, NPM ecosystem. So we are going to use Maven here for this project since this project is a uh, Maven project and will always redirect to the uh, root directory and when we want to schedule I want to schedule at a uh, weekly basis. So this is fine. and. I want to limit the pull request as well so okay so pull request limit so I want I would like to I don't want to like like bump up the pull request every time uh, like uh, suppose I have like multiple like uh, pull like uh, vulnerabilities in my project so I don't want to flood this pull request so I will just limit it to five as of now so they can like uh, raise only five pull requests for the vulnerability issues so this will be scheduled like uh, whenever new versions are available this will be scheduled okay so we can commit these changes and we can commit this so this will run on a weekly basis now what we can do here is we can do one more thing uh, we can schedule the time zone also and time also so you can see here uh, not here schedule so here we go like uh, schedule zone yeah we can see the schedule time we can check for the npm updates at this particular time and we can set the time zone as well so this also can be maintained so this is all about github action so this will always like try to create the pull request whenever any like so see like we have new versions available so they have like bumping up the versions from this particular 9.1 to 9.6 because this is having a newer version and we also got the pull request for the security issues so all these things happening like whenever like we enable the depend about in our project so we can see like this dependencies has been updated and the uh, one once the pull request was open for 1.2 to 1.24.0 but the pull request whenever the new version is available it always like create a new pull request okay so this is all about github uh, depend about they will we can see like how alerts they will send that also we can see so if you see like I have got the alerts as well uh, depend about alerts so bump up the version so depend will resolve any conflict so there are like multiple options here like rebase this so whenever we comment on this pull request they will like uh, rebase this uh, depend about rebase will rebase this PR will recreate suppose I want to cancel one uh, pull request so what we can do a previously requested merge so I will just comment here so they will throw they will cancel this so suppose I want to cancel this I will just comment on the pull request depend about cancel and they will cancel this pull request and will send us the alert as well that this will been cancelled So they have sent us this uh, message that they won't notify about this uh, release like whenever the new version will be available. So this will be not come into picture. Alright, so this is what about GitHub uh, 
depender boards we have seen like you can enable the newer versions from this uh, tab here code security and analysis you can enable the newer versions whenever you have newer versions or you want to create automatic pull requests that you can enable through this option like depender board security updates and it will automatically attempt to open pull request for any vulnerable components with the latest uh, with the like relevant uh, uh, patch version so this is what all about the github depend about alerts so hope you like my video if you like it if you like this video please like it share it subscribe it and share amongst your friends thank you have a good day